I got my DNA test done and my mom is half Norwegian. So you would think my mom's half Norwegian, my dad's full Mexican. What would I be mostly? Mexican, right? No, my DNA, I am made up, I'm the most Norwegian. What? <laughs> I'm like the little Nordic princess, okay? It is Monday, September 12th. I'm heading to the office and wanted to start a vlog. So I haven't done a vlog in a gazillion years. I have just been so off lately. Like I don't want, you know, I used to be a good morning person. And as I was saying in my last video on mental health, if I'm in a good place mentally, I have a really good morning routine set down and when I tell you lately, for months now, I have not gotten up early in such a long, long time. And I used to get up early, like 4 a.m., do my whole spiel, my whole routine, and I miss that, and I just cannot get back into it, and I don't know why. A big part of my morning routine was always going to Wicked Core, and I prefer to take the 5 a.m. class because it would force me to get up even earlier, right? I haven't gone in like four months. And so I had canceled my membership because I hadn't been going. And it's fancy if. But I signed back up and I was like, I'm going to do unlimited. I'm going to try to go as many times during the week as possible. That's like the best bang for your buck. I haven't gone once. I mean, I just signed up like a couple days ago. But I just really need to get my ass in here. But yeah, I've got to get back into a morning routine because I suck lately and I don't like it. And I feel like I'm wasting half my day. So that's the goal this week. That is the goal this week is getting back into Wicked Core because that'll get me up early in the morning. And then the earlier I'm up in the morning, the more I get accomplished, the more work I get to do on myself. You know, that's what I like to do like my daily devotionals and my journaling and reading to learn and face masks and you know skincare and all that extra time you know that i'm just wasting sleeping so that is the goal for the week it's gonna be probably a rough week personally but that is neither here nor there but we'll see. I'm confused, scumbag, it turning blue. I write a song or two just so I can see my views. A torture soul, but I feel my skin thickening. Type to find some peace when I'm lost inside these sentences. A strong mind, but my heart keeps giving in. Okay, so I am at the track. It is Saturday. Saturday, um, September 17th. Gosh, already September 17th. So I keep starting vlogs and then not following through with them. But as you guys see, two videos out now. <laughs> oh, she's back. So I'm going to try to, I want to do like a vlog. I don't know if I want to just do like a weekend vlog. Not that I have anything planned this weekend that's exciting. But that's the real, right? So you can just kind of see like this is just, you know, what we do. Um, so I'm at the track meeting Alfred started training back with him. He used to train me years and years ago I went back because I Needed that like cardio based type training again because I Have lots of weight to lose so It's been good for me and I like that he's getting me back into running because I had stopped running for so long and if you don't know me on like the YouTube of loving running but if you know me like at all in my past I used to do like half marathons and I would love to go to different cities and do a half marathon there and um, I would do that all the time and so I miss that all right so we're at the track this is Alfred Alfred say hello to the vlog what's going on guys good the to one, see you guys the one and only CEO <laughs> Torch lifestyle. Right, you know. Torch XGZ. Okay, so we're gonna do the bleachers. Tell them what I'm gonna do today. Okay, so today we'll be doing five bleachers. So I'll give you a walkthrough. So what we're gonna do is she'll be running up the bleachers. 
coming down. So we're coming down, then we'll continue. And then you run over each, to the next. All the way down, and then that counts as one. Yeah, and you gotta do five times. So we're doing five of those. Then we're gonna do straights. So we're gonna run a straight, 100 meters, walk a curve, run a straight, rock a curve, and we'll be doing two rounds. All right. So 800 meters. All right, so yeah, I told you guys, he's getting me back into running. Because Cheesy's got a, some weight to lose. We're working on it. All right. Hi loves. So I thought I would do a like kind of like get ready with me, go to bed type thing. So get unready with me. Do you see Rory in the background? <laughs> so we're gonna get unready tonight. To start with, I have my water hydrating because my skin has been dry lately. Okay, I went to the doctor today because my scalp has been itchy and behind my ear has been itchy and I've had two patches on my legs. Turns out I have psoriasis. So that's different. So it just kind of goes to show like, that's nothing that I could have controlled either. I'm trying to say anything that's wrong with me. It was like, it was out of my control. Um, it's her, it's genetic and stress can trigger it. And I'm always under a ton of stress. So there's that. The first step of my nighttime routine is always, always, always removing eye makeup. So I like to use the Clinique Take the Day Off. Um, I do their makeup, eye makeup remover. I have another mirror. Hello light. So this mirror that I have right here in my bathroom is cheaper than the one that I have in my makeup room. And I got it off of Amazon and the other one is Simply Human and I had to, I got like a, an actual store. I wanna say like Bed Bath & Beyond. And it was like super expensive and this one is cheaper and it works way longer. Like the light works better cause I want it to be cordless, you know? It goes against all my principles of like, spend more, you get the better quality, no. It's not better quality. If you spend less, you get better. I cut my nails off today. I'm gonna soak them off this weekend. I don't know. I go through phases and I was like, I don't want long nails. Like I just like typing and doing anything. And I was like, ugh, like it was just bothering me so much. And then I thought, you know, I've shared with you guys, like I have ADHD. It's really, really hard for me to focus. It's really hard for me to sit for long periods of time. I'm spending every Saturday hours so i took out my extensions i colored my hair but i'm like not gonna like keep up with it because the roots or whatever whatever so i colored so i took my extensions out so i'm wearing my natural hair because the thought of sitting in the chair hours doing my hair i couldn't do it then i'm like okay well i go and so when i'm doing this okay when i'm doing this all the time in all my videos and you see like dandruff and shit it's psoriasis that's what that is it's in my scalp so give me a pass that's what that is. So yeah, I finally went to the dermatologist about it because I was like, what the hell is going on? And my son, my lovely Anthony, loves to point out like, you got dandruff. I'm like, it's not something that I can control, son. First was my hair. I was like, I can't keep up with that. Then now it's like my nails. I've done my nails since I was in seventh grade, guys. Like I kept them up that entire time. Like I'm just like that girl that always has her nails like manicured and done and I'm over. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm just, I just don't want to do it. I don't want to, I don't want to take the time to do it, the money. So I'm going to try natural nails. So that will be a whole freaking thing. And I have had a lovely sponsor for, they had sent me some really great gel polish because I'm going to do, be doing like, I guess when I do do my nails, I'm just gel, like, but natural, like just my natural nails. So it'll be thicker because my nails are really thin because I, like I've said, I've done nails since I was in seventh grade and I am a hundred years old. So there's that. To take off my makeup, I'm going to do this micellar water from Drunk Elephant. So this just gets off that layer of makeup. All right. So just shake it up and I'll start removing this. So I don't know guys, I think it's like literally just, I'm just getting older and I just want less and less shit. I just don't want it. Like I want to take my lashes off really bad. Okay, that's the thing. I love putting on makeup, like makeup's my thing. Starting to wear like, if it's a weekend, if I wear makeup, it's freaking rare. 
I don't like to put makeup on on the weekends at all anymore. But I can not, for the life of me, put on false lashes. Like, it's just, I just suck at it. I, I've just always, always sucked at it. So this was like when they did lash extensions. I was like, hell yeah, like, I need that in my life. Well, that takes hours. And I just, like, <laughs> cutting costs financially, cool. Like, yes, God, I will save a lot of money. But time, the time that it takes to be a woman, the upkeep is brutal and i just feel like i've like stuck with the routine for so long that if i want to take a break from it take a freaking break from it and just be me think about that energy think about the energy it puts into you gotta remember that you gotta like schedule it put in your calendar schedule an alarm to get up for it or to remind you to do it that's what you're doing on the weekends or after work or before work, whatever it is for you, right? Think about all of that energy that could be producing something of value. I wonder, like, I like to create things. Like, being creative. I used to say I wasn't a creative person, but I think that I am in my own way. And when I say that, it's like, I'm not artistic, but I love to create value for people and I love to give people things of value. And I just think about all the time that with my problems of like of having ADHD, that I have to, if I start and then have to stop doing something and then start back up, the freaking brain power that takes for me to like get back on track is crazy. So me stopping on the weekends to like go run these errands to do things to keep up with my upkeep and all that. I just think about like, what does that take away from the hours, the money, the brain power, all of it. So I kind of just have an experiment for the rest of the year. So we're going into October. It's September 21st today. I want to do nothing with my hair, nothing with my nails, nothing with my toes. I might do a wax and lashes at the end of the year. Just that. I might stop doing that too. I'm not doing spray tans anymore because that takes a lot of time. I'll just do it at home like a like a rub on. Just all that stuff. Like why? Why is it so hard to be a woman? Washing. I always do this Foreo. I do the Chanel cleanser. I've always liked this cleanser. The rest of why something special about it honestly it's aesthetically pleasing it smells good i like it and that's why i use it there's no like actual skin benefit that i can tell you so if you have the extra coin and you just like the way it looks in your bathroom get it not neutrogena is just as good her cerave i think it's called i still like that one too i just got stuck up i just got like sedidium light started really liking aesthetically pleasing products and i'm just kind of really over that right now i'm just rinse and then i'll get back on all right so makeup is off now i do this is my favorite step i swear by this stuff right it's expensive but i'm gonna try to keep it in my budget as long as i can because i swear when you're by it it's the one thing like i'm like always like mm, girl you really don't need it no worry don't come for me i did not send for you worry i did not send for you don't come for me so i love this stuff it's dr dennis gross daily peel so what you do is you do this first round and you just roll over your face until it gets dry then you wait two minutes then you do the second pad until that's dry that's done. But I swear my skin has looked so much better, like smoother, pores are shrinking, melasma. Like I have like bad melasma. And when I say melasma, when I was a little girl, I had a lot of freckles, a lot, a lot, a lot of freckles. I don't have them like I used to. And I know that's uh, because of all the skincare that I do. And people are like, oh my God, freckles are cute. Well, for me, they weren't, okay? I didn't like them. I never liked them on me, okay? I didn't, I didn't like them. And turns out I am this little Mexican Norwegian princess, okay? Because I am dark haired and dark eyed, but I got my DNA test done and my mom is half Norwegian. So you would think my mom's half Norwegian, my dad's full Mexican. What would I be mostly? Mexican, right? No, my DNA, I am made up, I'm the most Norwegian. What? <laughs> I'm like the little Nordic princess, okay? <laughs> so, why this sits 
Now it's getting dry. And I'm telling you, this stuff is like gold. So like, I don't waste it. I just put it on my hands. Like, I'm like, I am not wasting it. Because you know your hands be aging. And I'm like, girl, not for me. Nope. While I'm waiting my two minutes, guess what takes exactly two minutes? You guessed it. Brushing your teeth. Well, at least with my toothbrush, which is pink. How cute. I used to have the black one, and then it broke on me. This is where we're at. So I'm gonna brush my teeth, then I'll do the... I'm sorry, my, but my heart is honestly haunted. The skeletons in my closet, it's horrifying, I promise. Far too often, I get caught up in the thoughts in my head. When the memories come to life, it's like it's the walking dead. So it's constantly Halloween. All right, so teeth are brushed. Doing step two of this peel. And again, I just rub it on my face all over until it dries out. And as it dries out and I feel like there's nowhere else to put it, I put it on the top of my hands. Guys, and don't forget your neck, babe. Hey, no, forget your neck. So I've been running a lot, again, with Mr. Threadle. I've been running a lot with him because... I remember loving that feeling of like running so much and I haven't done it in so long and he's been having me at the track a lot. And track is harder to run than just running outside because you're like running just, you know, you're on the pavement and I mean on the track and you're just going in a circle. Whereas like I used to have like my routine, like my trail that I would run and, and I'd have a playlist because before when I was doing it, there wasn't this like there wasn't apple music back then like that there wasn't like it was playlist only there was itunes but there was not apple music there was not spotify so i would have specific playlists and i would know my markers as far as like where i was in my run according to what song i was on and i just remember i would just feel really good and i didn't have any kind of like medication as far as my my depression or my anxiety then and that was my medication literally like running clearing my mind all of that like as natural as it could be like that's what i did okay so now that i've done this i would typically do my light mask but i feel like doing an actual mask mask first so i'm gonna do that okay so the mask that i'm gonna use tonight is this um youth to the people can is it getting it i think it is it is their purifying clay mask i really love love this mask it's good for evening out your skin tone and minimizing pores and it doesn't dry out my skin too much so i like to use it like one to two times a week and i'll leave it on for about 10 minutes this little guy i got from sephora this mask i bought from sephora and so i just do like a good thick layer i think while it sits what i'm gonna do is i've become a little obsessed with true crime i know i'm such a woman the most obsessed story i'm on is i want to say it's the chris watts story and so there's a whole documentary on netflix on it look it up i'm gonna have to link it he worked at anna darko when i was in college i had to write a paper on a business and i chose anna darko because they're based in houston and the woodlands and i went to anna darko and i all the things that's where he worked not in houston he was in colorado i believe oh, but it's such a sad story but it's just like never you know like what you think they look like the perfect family Jaden and i like watching documentaries anthony and i used to be into really like watching documentaries together too but then anthony is like me and it's like he cannot sit still so it takes a lot to get our attention so mask is on so i'm gonna let it sit for 10 minutes i'm going to i think look more into that documentary see what i can find out because it's really interesting okay I'll be back. The mask is off. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm take my ring off. So I'm taking Tatcha's Essence. I was going to do my light mask, but I can't find it. And you just like pat and press that into the skin. Again, put it on the top of your hands because it's good stuff. You don't want to waste it. Then I'm going to do my serum from Sunday Riley. Sunday Riley has got to be one of my favorite skincare brands of all time. I just love their skincare so much. I just feel like my skin responds to it so well. After I do that, I'm going to do a night cream. 
usually would do Sunday Riley's Luna Night Oil, but I'm out of it. And I've told myself since I have so much skin products, so much skin care, I can't buy anything new until I'm like using what I have. So in lieu of that, I am going to use my Arbonne, their Advanced Night Skin Repair. So this is what I'm using tonight. And I'll just put that all over my face. And again, go down your neck. Anything else I put on top of my hands. Almost last step is I do Sunday Riley's all-in-one good jeans, which is a lactic acid treatment. So again, all of this stuff is just for fine line and wrinkle, evening you out your skin tone, minimizing your pores. Can't forget an eye cream. Love, 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 love this eye cream from Sunday Riley. Just got it a couple weeks ago and I freaking love it. This is what it looks like. Again, I got it because I really love the brand. This is the applicator. You just kind of put a little bit of each eye with the applicator and then take my ring finger and dab it out and in. And it just feels so nourishing. And I have this face roller. This is a face and body one, which is why it's bigger. And I just kind of like to go over my whole face with it. So the last step is going to be doing a lip treatment. But my lip treatment's by my bed. So I'll do that last. But that's it. This is like usually what I do at night before bed. Just take the time to do what's good for my skin. Take that a little bit of time each day. All that adds up. You owe it to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody's going to love you and take care of your you the way you can love and take care of yourself so do those little things romanticize your life like look at it like right now it was fun i got to film in front of my youtube friends and family but usually i would watch a youtube video like i have my little mini ipad with me right here i was watching a video while i wasn't filming and it's my time for me and so i just don't look at things like it's such a hassle to do look at it as like you get to do it it's a blessing it's you're fortunate You've got the products, you you know, you've got the lighting in the bathroom and you've got whatever it is, you can romanticize your life. And that is something that I want to work on doing and a goal of mine for the next quarter, for the last quarter of the year is romanticize my life. That's going to be it. That's going to be my thing. Okay, bye. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi guys. It is Saturday. Happy Saturday. I am heading to work out going to tour so I've got about 45 minute drive ahead of me because I'm in the burbs and he is downtown I'm not entirely sure what we're doing today it's keeping me really cardio based with everything because like, Jesus got some weight to lose which is fine it's good it's what I need since being back with him I've been losing weight so I'm happy um, he wants me to eat more salads at night so I was looking at my phone and I was going through TikTok at like salad inspos and so we're good there so i was like all right right now i've been really living like greek salads making those at home when i get home i really need to clean i need cleaning done i need to do laundry so anyways just gonna do that and i want to take a course today on learning more on youtube so i can be better so yeah that's the agenda all right i'll check in when so I can Living in this mental space, chasing after goals, always seem to be the only way. I know my purpose, I know that I can work it. I just wish I had some peace under the surface. Until that day, I'ma hear my mind chirping. I'ma keep my head so, rolling. Even with football, it's, it's a focus like this. Then when you're doing your art, it's a focus like this. When you're on your phone, it's a focus like this. So naturally, you're gonna start craving, coming in forward. So, chin back, chest up. Your dad got you standing like that, and we're not gonna have it. <laughs> so chin, chin up, chest back. That way, because as you start to grow, you don't want anything hunched over. So push your chin back. Nope, not down, back like this. Like that. Blue Da Vinci's to say you pity the son of Jenny. I roll a Kenny 
I throw a penny, my wallet empty Numbers showing, I'm steady growing I'm never slowing, going locomotive Just knowing I'm cold at any moment My brothers gather round and listen when I speak This message for the strong, I preach not to the weak So do not be a sheep, and when we die we sleep Work it to the wheels, fall off, it be weak Working, working, I'm very certain I got them nervous Load the clip, kill them all, I've been too determined Working, working, I'm very certain I got them nervous Load the clip, kill them all, I've been too determined On my grind, they say I'm one of a kind Post-dated boy, I've been ahead of my time On my grind, they say I'm one of a kind Post-dated boy, I've been ahead of my time Made these tears for love, and finally humble me Cause I've been on the killer spree, the murder was in front of me So ugly, yeah, the cluttering in Cause I've been eating punches like this shit was fucking less for me No time, I realize I'm both eyes Men lie like wood ties on both sides Circles closed, the people around me sit in toes I can give a fuck less about your hoes Work it, work it, I'm very certain I got them nervous Load the clip, kill them all, I've been too determined Work it, work it, I'm very certain I got them nervous Load the clip, kill them all, I've been too determined On my grind, they say I'm one of a kind Post-dated boy, I've been ahead of my time On my grind, they say I'm one of a kind Post-dated boy, I've been ahead of my time you find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her, she's a Mona Lisa